Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Vintage Collection review. We're looking at a vehicle now. This is one I've had sitting around for quite a while. I no longer have the box to show you, so we're just gonna get straight into it. It is the Imperial Troop Transport from The Mandalorian. It's great to see this vehicle enter live action canon. I guess it's uh, it was canonized, I guess, with uh, Star Wars Rebels. It looked a little bit different. They did release a version of that. Um, but this is going pretty deep realistic. Um, and considering it was taken from a uh, vintage toy that was just put out because it had nothing to do with the films, um, it was just one of those playable, playable uh, vehicles they put out. So I'm going to put this down and I'm going to swing the camera around and we're going to get a closer look. So just stay tuned. All right, here it is. This thing is fantastic. I love looking at this thing. The weathering is absolutely superb. The details are incredible. Um, if it was, if I was to pick out anything, there's a little bit of a letdown. It is probably the scale. Um, it probably needs to be a little bit bigger, but it's fine. Like, you know, it's, it's hard to get vehicles completely accurate, even at one twelfth scale, which these three and three quarter inch uh, figures are. Um, everything's a little bit scaled down just so they can make the damn thing. <laughs> um, otherwise this thing would be, you know, an extra half a foot long. So we'll just stand Mr. Remnant Stormtrooper up there beside it. Because I tell you what, when I've still got this on my shelf with a couple of Stormtroopers standing in front of it, it still looks absolutely fantastic. I seriously do love this. I'm glad I got it. Um, so I did miss out on a few vintage collection vehicles like the TIE Fighter and the uh, tank from Rogue One. So I'm very happy to have this thing. So we'll just pop him out of the way and we'll take a look at some of the features. So the front doors do open so you get a feel. Uh, yeah, the back doors don't open. So they've uh, left the playability to one, which, which is okay. You sort of get the feeling that's, you sort of get the vibe that they're going for. Um, you can just have your stormtroopers piling out of one door. Would have been cool to have them all open, but that's okay as well. So that's that happens on both sides. And there. These front doors open. It's going to be a bit tricky with the lighting here, so... some fantastic details. Let me just try and get my phone light. This might uh, help a little bit here. So some really nice details inside All the computer panels. On the inside looks great. The chairs. The switches and stuff on the inside of the doors. Those are articulated so you can Move them out of the way to get a pilot in there, and then you know correct them to get the uh, get your characters holding holding the uh, steering steering vane there. So that's kind of cool. Even details in there on the on the roof of the thing. So that's kind of cool. So I'll just put my phone aside for the moment. So that's you know they're really cool. I like the cannon sort of built into the side. Uh, details with the imperial insignia there. That looks great. It's a bit scuffed and damaged throughout here. Looks like there's a rusty hinge. So you know these things have uh, these things have seen a little bit of action. I do love this really thin. Um, reminds me of like a uh, war bunker or something. You know, only enough to just to see through. Of uh, you know maximum protection of oncoming un firing. I'll look on the bottom, it does have some wheels. One, two, three. It's really detailed sort of engine hover, anti grav, whatever you want to call it. It's really nicely molded on. At the back, we do have another door which flips open. We can see inside here now. What I will do is you can pop off the top as well. So this might allow a little light in. So we do have a couple of bench seats for stormtroopers. And four of them are movable. These back ones are static. 
And uh, if I do get Mr. Stormtrooper to stand in there, he's a little bit too big. Um, but that's okay. Again, you know, I, I've got all my Stormtroopers um, sitting outside of it. So, there's no point in filling this thing up with Stormtroopers when uh, you're not going to see them. The cool thing is there is a gun rack at the back here. And I love just that little panel in there. Let's... There we go. Oh, too far. Yeah, just that little panel there that looks like the uh, Death Star lights and all those. Just feels that Imperial aesthetic. So yeah, you can... And there is that little window looking through to the cockpit as well. So that's, again, nicely detailed. Really cool. And here is the roof. We do have the pivoting turret there. We do have a hatch at the top as well. So instruments and details underneath. You know, vents and cooling units, I assume. Things like that, just to keep the troopers as comfortable as they can be. Um, not that the Empire really cares about comfort. <laughs> they just, uh, their forces are pretty indispensable, so. But yeah, that's it. That just reveals that the top of the uh, roof of the cockpit there. Some more engine details. You can sort of see the pattern of the floor there as well. Grids and grates and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I just I love all the little details, like all this little little bits and stuff around here, on the back. Again, some more weathering and stuff around the place. You know, this this little bit of weathering here looks like this whatever this has been leaking, sort of running down. Same here, like a little bit of runoff. Sort of scoring around here, and you know, again that sort of rusty rusty hinge. It looks like it's seen a little bit of action, but yeah, really fantastic piece. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad I got this out, and it's uh, so far it's the sort of backdrop for my uh, three and three quarter inch Mandalorian figures, which uh, there aren't too many of at the moment, but uh, I have no doubt they will uh, increase come next year before the Razor Crest comes out. But yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think of this vehicle. I like it a lot. I think it's really cool. <clears throat> Drop a comment down below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I'll be back for some more Star Wars toy reviews and book reviews and all sorts of fun stuff. That's what I'm here for. Fun stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, may the Force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.